Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to do my first um, tag and it started um, by Richard at Devour Book Reviews and it's a list of eight questions which I'll post um, in the little description thing um, as well as a link to his channel and he tags everyone so I'm just replying to that. Um, and the first question is, what is the most interesting book on your shelf? Um, I sort of interpreted, interpreted this as like the which you find interesting, but others may like think like, why the hell have you got that on your shelf? Um, but I find it interesting. Um, and that's the Book of the Dead. And this is by E. A. Wallace Budge. And I really love Egyptology, and I have done from a very young age. And I like this book so much because it's on a good page. It has ancient Egyptian, and then translates it into English. Um, and it's um, ancient Egyptian, um, funeral rites, prayers, spells, that sort of thing. Something I'm very, very interested in. So I, I love this book. Um, the second question is, what is the scariest book on your shelf? And I have to be really honest here and say, I don't think I have a scary book um, on my shelf. I don't have one. I don't normally read scary books. Or ones that can be really classed as scary books. Um, so no Stephen King like books on my shelf, I'm afraid. Um, which book or books on your shelf can you not live without? Um, everyone knows me as being a book obsessive, and if my books were taken away from me, I think I would die. Um, so I couldn't live without my books at all. But if I had to narrow it down, like really narrow it down, I wouldn't be able to live without Angel by L.A. Weatherly. In the US it's known as Angel Burn. I um, love that book, it is my favourite book. Um, Nevermore by Kelly Cray, um, like my second favourite book, I love that book. Um, <laughs> or Anything by Meg Cabot, I have all her books apart from uh, her latest one, Abandoned, because it's, it's not here yet, so I haven't read it yet. Um, but if I had to narrow it down again to a Meg Cabot book, it would be Boy Meets Girl, which is one of her adult books, but it's my favourite. Uh, question four is how many series books do you have on your shelf? Um, loads. I think it's. Um, I tried to write down so that I didn't have to have like a load of books on my desk. Um, it's over twenty, and that's um, books that I haven't that have like more than one in them so far. Like um, Divergent, for example, is one in a trilogy, but I haven't counted Divergent because it's only got one book out yet. So I've counted ones that have more than one um, book in them at the moment. So I have like most of L.J. Smith, so I have her Night World, her Vampire Diaries, her Secret Circle, her Dark Visions, her Forbidden Game. I have all of Meg Cabot's series, so Princess Diaries, Mediator, etc. Um, the Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare. The Morganville Vampires by Rachel Kane. Um, the Blue Bloods by Melissa de la Cruz. Um, Goddess of the uh, Parthenon series by PC Cast. Um, got a summoning series by PC Cast, uh, Caster Chronicles by Camille Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Twilight series um, by Stephanie Meyer, I have the True Blood series by Charlene Harris, um, Dark Secrets by Elizabeth Chandler, um, oh an adult series, I have the Vampire Breed novels and they're by Lara Adrian, um, and the Black Dagger Brotherhood by J.R. Ward, and the side changeling by Nalini Singh. Okay, uh, there's probably more, and I probably miscounted them, but that's that's what I've managed to count so far. Um, now question five: What book on your shelf has the most unique cover? Now mine is actually the same as um, Richard's in that it's the UK cover of Infinite Days by Rebecca Maisel, and it is because I there is literally no other book on my shelf where it has like the wax paper, and then you take it off, and then it's her. Um, no others of mine have that so that's why it's a unique colour um question six which books on your shelf have you not read now i'm quite guilty of having a lot of books on my shelf that i haven't read um and that's not because i won't read them it's because um like a lot of them are from previous book hauls that i haven't got around to and then it was a busy time with exams so i haven't read as much as i should have so yeah, there's quite a build up of books that i haven't read um so I've just got a few that I haven't read. Um, Red series, 
when this is a cruise. Um, I've got one to four that I haven't read yet. Um, books three to ten in the Morganville Vampires, simply because again then they're, they're quite new and I haven't read them yet. Um, Firelight by Sophie Jordan. I got this quite a few book hauls ago, but I don't know why I just haven't picked up and read it yet. The same with Paranormal Sea, Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce, um, Torment by Lauren Kate, uh, The Cursed Ones, Demon, the Forbidden One, The Demon Traveller's Daughter. Um, yeah, so there's quite a few, as well as all of the Vampire Diaries, The Secret Circle, um, Forbidden Game, Dark Visions. Yeah, quite a bit I haven't read. I'm guilty of that. Um, question seven: Which books on your shelf did you not enjoy? Um, considering some of them I haven't read yet, um, there's not really books that I've read that I haven't enjoyed. Um, I tend to only buy them if I think I'm going to like them, and so I do tend to like them, um, or at least enjoy them. Like, you can give a book not five out of five, for example, but you still really enjoyed it. Um, but there is only one that comes to mind that I have read that I haven't enjoyed, and that is Fallen by Lauren Kate. And I didn't like it because it was slow. Um, I thought the overall storyline was good, but I found it really slow and draggy, and at the end I just wanted it to be over. Which I don't normally do with books. I like to cherish books, and when I close them I go, oh no, it's finished. Whereas with this one I was like, oh thank god I finished that. So, only the one. Um, and question eight, what book on your shelf holds the most meaning? Uh, again, I was torn with this one. I was torn between two, and in the end I just thought, I just have two, because they are both they both mean a lot to me. And the first one is Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine, and I know this has a really sucky cover, um, the movie cover. Um, I do not like the movie. It is a really... It destroyed this book, but I read this book before I, the movie came out, um, and I got the book from the library, and then I read this when I was really quite young. I can't even remember. Really quite young. So going back a few years now. Um, and I got out of the library, and we went to try and find it, um, me and my mum, and we couldn't find it anywhere, so we had to speak to the bookstore, and they ordered it in specially for me. So this one reminds me of, like, it was the first book that I read that I truly cherished, and I've read it so many times, the spine is just dead. Um, and that my mum went to so much trouble to get it for me, and, like, I've reread it so many times, and it's so many different, like, occasions in my life. Um, and I just really love it, and it's like a telling of Cinderella, and it just, it's a really lovely book. I'm sad I have this horrible cover of it, and if you haven't read the book because you've seen the movie and the movie sucked, check out the book because it is nothing like the movie at all. Just had to say that. And the second book is The Jane Austen Pocket Bible <clears throat> by Holland, Holly Evans, and this means a lot to me because I am a massive Jane Austen fan. But my nan um, bought this for me, and she finds it very hard to buy books for me, because uh, if there's a book I want, I normally have already bought it myself, um, and there's always books I want, so they find it, my family in general find it really hard to buy me books, because one day I could say, oh, I really want this book, and the next day I bought it. But my nan put so much thought into getting me this, and to find that I didn't have it, and that it was something that I would really love, and it's full of just little quirky things about Jane Austen and her novels. Um, and it's just really sweet, and it means a lot to me that she went um, to a lot of effort to get me a book that she knew I'd love that I didn't have. And it was really quite sweet and quirky. So that's my bookshelf tag. Um, I really